Time for the crop walk. Now, this spinach, I'm going to start eating it. This here, the spearmint, peppermint. That's fantastic. Look at those runners. Basil, you need to start harvesting the leaves now. Now, this is the lettuce. As you notice, it's going into seed pods. The flowers are blooming. We're going to start getting some seeds out of this. So we go ahead and take them. The more spices, we're going to need to dry those. This is, remember, got over, over too much sun and not enough water. I just planted uh, lettuce in here. It used to be the um, cauliflower that we cut out yesterday. Composting bucket going on. And there is our pineapple trying to root. And our sweet potato that is rooting. We're going to see if those will come up. The beets are doing good. The tomatoes from slices are doing good. We harvested a whole bunch of blueberries yesterday. Those need to go in the ground today. Nothing yet from the ginger root. We're going to see if those are going to do anything. The sweet peas are coming up from those. The summer squash and the squash. And the sunflowers are doing quite well. There we go. Those aren't going to do too good, though. Not at all. This is the beets are. You can see the cabbage butterflies are around. I have to dust today and weed today. Today's a very busy day. This is July the 14th. And we get an extension of taxes. So taxes are due today. I get that done. I'm filed for another extension. And the cabbage are doing good. So we're doing real good there. So dust here again today. I'm going to get all these weeds taken care of as much as possible. That cauliflower is doing good. Cabbage are real starting to get hard. So that's doing good. Some more cabbage. So far the pest control has been good. But we need to be on top of it because if these things lay eggs, then we're going to have to have some problems. So as you can see, look at that. Cabbage. Cabbage. Wonderful. And the the uh, tomato plants are starting to spread. Peppers are forming nicely. Look at all that. We harvested some um, peppers yesterday. And some tomatoes, strawberries. You can see that all this needs to be watered enough so that this stuff comes straight out. You don't want to just pull it. You want to pull the whole thing. Written off. So i got to water this ground and get it. Look at that. So make sure you take all your seeds and save them. Dry them onto paper plates. These ghost peppers, handle them with gloves. Do not do them any other way. You don't want that oil on you. Now these need to be watered. So I'm going to be doing watering and weeding today. And then I'm going to be putting some dusting on. And get that taken care of. So let's see. Anything here? Looking to see if there's any bugs at all i don't see any so we have to do some fertilization we do some watering some weeding and i'm gonna spend more than a day at this there's a lot of weeds here a lot this here is all planted in something that wasn't even tilled this is all tilled so this needs to be mowed down so i take these buckets out of here move them so this can be mowed down and looking for pests now there's that cabbage butterfly they're actually a pest for your garden. They may be pretty, but they're laying eggs and worms. Come from them to eat your plants. Okay, here we go. Strawberries. You get all this moved out of the way. Get all this chopped down. Doing pretty good there. You see all this droopiness? They need water. So that's when we put the water on these babies. Get these taken care of. Now, we knew they needed water yesterday. I didn't want to do it yesterday because I wasn't here to watch how much water and I don't want to soak the ground too much because I need to work in it. Look at that. More, more to eat. More to eat. The beans are doing quite nicely. Curling up all over there. And look at all that. Now we're going to be doing the results here shortly. Probably this weekend. Uh, what soil was the best? And we'll go through it and compare, pull them side by side and show you which ones were the best in our consideration. Uh, I do want to show you this one plant. Look at that. Growing out, trying to find a way to become more than it is. There we go. If we put it that way. Now, I want to show you this. Where's it at? 
we have is it in this one I think it is oh there it is look at this we have an eggplant that's doing quite nicely look at that eggplant doing very nicely in the bucket and remember that those are our potatoes right there so we'll see how they do and then we have more over here and see how they're doing so far so good this is the damage from the fire Trying to burn those reeds down the fire got too hot and I had to move these containers in so there's been some damage but you live and you learn see that burned away there that was a wild um, grape plant that just takes over everything look at all that now this here is composting that was that tomato I can put it over there because I'm going to utilize that so as you can see things are doing pretty good look at that potato flower right there yeah this is pretty wild so I'm going to get the sprinkler out here get this going so I can take care of this anytime you see this you're a little bit too late in watering but get busy so I'm going to put the watering plant out and I'm going to start getting these weeds